Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, we will be going through translating word problems. Let's start with writing expressions. Writing algebraic expression is a way to represent or model real-life situation using variables. As you learn to write expressions to represent a given situation, you need to watch for some key phrases. While there are many possible clues to indicate which operation makes sense, and the following phrases will often appear. Addition, increase by, the sum, more than, as in five more than, added to, subtraction, decrease by, the difference less than, as in six less than, or subtracted from, multiplication, the product, double or times two, triple it means times three, or multiplied by, division, the quotient divided by half, which is divided by two, Exponents, squared or square, refers to taking a variable to the second power. Cube or cube refers to the third power. Now let's try an example. First, a number is doubled and then decreased by 5. Write an algebraic expression to represent the value of the resulting number. You are not given the variable in the question, so your first step is to choose a variable to represent the unknown value. So let's let's use n. Now if n is double, it is multiplied by 2, resulting in 2n. It was then decreased by 5, which means 5 is subtracted from, from it. So therefore, the answer is 2n minus 5, or the final expression is 2n minus 5. Another example. Find the volume of a square chest. The width is squared, and then multiplied by the height. If the height is 3 feet, and the width is w feet, Write an expression that represents the volume of this chest in terms of, of W. The width is squared, so you can represent it by W squared. Multiplying this by 3 gives you the final expression of 3W squared. Another example, five friends go out to lunch and plan to split the bill evenly. If the final bill is B dollars, write an expression that represents the amount each friend will pay in terms of, of B. So if the bill is divided evenly, so the total will be divided uh, by five. Because the bill is, the bill is B dollars, so the cost to each friend will be B divided by 5 or B over $5. Next is word problems with equations and inequalities. Solving word problems really just requires being able to write an equation to represent the situation and then being able to solve it. Often you will not be given a variable to work with so your first step is to choose a variable to represent the value you are trying to find. Example, the product of a number and 3 is 42. So what is the value of the number? So if the number is x, this relationship can be represented by 3x is equal to 42. Okay, so solving the equation by undoing the multiplication, so we divide both sides by 3, we've got 
x is equals to 14. Another example, a consultant charges a company $50 an hour in addition to a one-time analysis fee of $450. If the company paid the consultant $1,050, how many hours did she work? Okay. If H represents the number of hours worked, then the consultant's total charge is 50H plus 450. Because the total payment was 1050 so it must be that uh, 50H plus 450 is equals to 1050. Okay, 50 is being paid per hour and 450 is analysis fee is equals to 1050. So we have the equation 50H plus 450 is equals to 1050. So, solving the equation by undoing 450 first. So, minusing both sides by 450. Okay, give us 50H is equal to 600. Then, undoing 50H by dividing both sides by 50 gives us 12 for the value of H. So, it means the consultant worked for 12 hours. Okay, another example, the average of the numbers x, 15, 9, 8, and 2 is 12. What is the value of x? So this question requires the use of the average formula. To find the average, add the numbers and then divide the sum by the number of numbers. So if the average is 12, then we have x plus 15 plus 9 plus 8 plus 2 divided by 5 is equal to, to 12. Then simplifying, got x plus 34 over 5 is equal to 12. Then I'm doing the 5. So we've got x plus 34 is equal to 60. Then I'm doing the plus 34. We've got x is equal to 26. And now, Let's try word, the word problems that involve systems of equations. Systems of equations are needed to represent many real-life situations. Writing the equations to represent these situations requires the same skill as writing an equation with one variable. For example, you know, a high school club sold tickets to a basketball game in order to raise money. Okay, club members raised 205 by selling 35 tickets. For people with a family member in the club, the ticket cost $5. For everyone else, tickets cost $8. How many tickets did club members sell to people with family members in the club? So, F plus T is equals 35, the number of tickets sold to family members, which is F, and T for the number of tickets sold to everyone else. So another, another equation is 5F plus 80, which represents $5 times the number of tickets sold to family members and $8 times the number of tickets sold to everyone else uh, and the total uh, amount is 205 then using uh, elimination we've got negative 8 is equal to f plus t is equal to negative 8 times 35 5 f plus t so that we can eliminate uh, t okay giving us negative 3 f is equal to negative 75 so F is equal to 25. So it means there are 25 tickets sold to family members. Okay, another example. A gym is storing 5-pound and 10-pound dumbbells. 
if there are a total of 10 dumbbells weighing 70 pounds altogether, how many 10 pound dumbbells does the gym have in the storage? Okay, the unknowns are the number of 5 pound dumbbells and the number of 10 pound dumbbells. So let's call this X 5 pound and Y 10 pound. There are a total of 10 dumbbells. So X plus Y is equal to 10. Okay, the number of 5 pound dumbbell and the number of 10 pound dumbbell is equal to 10 dumbbells in total. Now, because each 5 pound dumbbell contributes to 5 pounds to this total, and each 10 pound dumbbell contributes to 10 pounds, so we have 5x plus 10y, which is equal to 70 pounds, because the total weight is 70 pounds. So the question asks only for the number of 10 pound dumbbell, so which is y, so we can eliminate the x first, because all we need to find is the y. So multiplying the first equation, x plus y is equal to 10 by negative 5, gives us negative 5x minus 5y is equal to negative 50, and copying the second equation, 5x plus 10y is equal to 70, gives us 5y is equal to 20, and doing the multiplication by dividing both sides by 5, we've got y is equal to 4. So it means there are 4 10-pound dumbbells in storage. Now, another example is a restaurant has two types of tables. Okay? Family-sized tables that seat eight people and small tables that seat four people. To purchase the tables, the owner spent $180 for each family-sized table and $100 for each small table for a total of $3,660. If the restaurant can seat a total of 156 people, how many family-sized tables does it have? Okay, so in this question, the unknowns are number of each type of table. So let F be the, fam the number of family-sized tables and S be the number of small tables. So you have two kinds of information, the number of people and the cost. So you should be able to create an equation for each of these. So considering the cost, each family size table contributed $180. And each small table contributed $100 to the total. So this gives us the equation 180F plus 100S is equal to 3,660. Again, F is family size, S is small size. The same idea works for the number of people. See, each, uh, each family size table sits eight in each small size. The small table seats 4. So 8F plus 4S is equal to 156, the total number of people. Because the question asks for the number of family size tables, so you will save time, eliminate time by eliminating the S because we just need the family size, the number of family size tables. So to eliminate S, we need to multiply the second equation by 20. By 25 so okay this give us these equations 180f plus 100s is equals 3600 actually it's 3660 okay that's it and then negative 25 times 8 is negative 200f negative 25 times 4 is negative 100s is equal to negative 3,900 because 25, negative 25 times 156 is equal to 3,900. 
or 3,660 minus 3,900 gives us uh, negative 240. So this one is negative. Negative 240. Okay. So 180 plus negative 200 F is negative 20. So negative 240 divided by negative 20. The answer is F F is equals to it's not 15, it's actually 12. So F is equal to 12. So it means the restaurant has 12 family size tables. Now let's proceed to writing quadratic equations. As we saw when working with linear equations, equations can be written to represent many types of real life situations. This is also true with quadratic equation. When writing these equations, remember the keywords. From writing expressions such as square for an exponent of 2 and others that may mean addition, subtraction, or multiplication. Let's try an example. The difference between a number x squared and 5 is equals to 18. So write an equation to represent this relationship. You know, when a problem says the difference, it is referring to what? Subtraction. So one side of the equation is x squared minus 5, which is equals to 18. Okay, another one. The area of a small rug can be found by multiplying its length by its width. If the rug's length and width both measure y and its area is 49 square feet, write an equation to show the relationship between y and 49. If the area is 49, then the basic form of the equation will be area is equal to 49. So the area can be found by multiplying the length by the width, which are both y. So therefore, the area is equal to y times y is equal to y squared. Plugging this into your original statement gives you the equation y squared is equal to 49. So if you were asked to solve for y, the only possible answer would be 7, since the length or width of rod cannot be negative. So this is the end of our video. If you have any questions or if you did not understand parts of the presentation, you can comment below. And if you want to know more about Phuket Pulse, you can visit www.phuketpulse.org or contact us through our Facebook, Phuket Pulse, or you can call us on 081-417-0978.